thousands with the peace of the Lord Jesus. We will have today the fourth and last class of the month of August. And we will, to begin our class, we will close our eyes and put our lives before the Lord. We will plead to Him. Lord, we plead the power there is in the blood of Jesus. And we put before your altar our lives, asking you that you may visit our hearts. Perfect us in your presence, giving us fellowship with you. Forgive our mistakes, Lord, and bless us, we plead in Jesus' name. Amen. As Noah, I want to obey the sweet voice of God. Ark, I will build. Like Noah, in the ark I will enter. And salvation I will find. By faith, Noah obeyed in everything. Following the project, he never feared. Inheritance from Jesus, because salvation is for all those who believe. Just like Noah, I want to obey the sweet voice of God. I will build the ark. Just like Noah, in the ark I will enter. In salvation, I will find. Just like Noah, in the ark I will enter and salvation I will find. Now let's sing another song to the Lord.
today the theme of red class is the testimony of Noah and in this class we will talk about a raven and a dove so let's read the text that we find Genesis 8 7 through 8 and it says and sent out a raven and he kept flying back and forth until the water had dried up on earth then he sent out a dove to see if the waters had receded from the surface of the ground. We saw in the last classes that Noah was a man that walked with God. And he knew the judgment that God would bring upon earth. He fulfilled all the orientations of the Lord. He built the ark of being the Lord. And he entered the ark, right? Until here we saw this about the story. But now we're going to go back a little bit to the beginning of the story. So the Bible tells us that it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. So they entered the ark and it was seven days without rain and then it started. And there was so much rain that it took over the whole earth and it was seven meters above all the mountains of the world. And there everything died. Everything on earth died. So what happened then? So the Lord brought a, sent out a wind and he, he brought calm to the water. Waters and the fountains dried. Everything became calm and the waters went down, they lowered. And the ark rested upon the mountains of Ararat. And Noah wanted to know what was like outside on earth if the water is still there and I want to and he sent out a raven and I want to just let you know that the flood took approximately a year so it was a long time that he was inside the ark but that was not the stop of the definitive stop of Noah so he sent out the raven the raven went and came back. The went and came back. The raven tells us about an uh, animal. Uh, raven, the word means a mixture because he eats uh, clean things, but he also eats the dirty things like the carcass and, the, and, and trash. So he went and came back because he found things out there that he liked. So he talks about those who go to church, feeds himself with something that is good and clean, but then he goes out in the world and he feeds himself from things of this world. He's not worried about anything that he's living or doing. So the raven then talks about those who do not fear the Lord, those who are not defined in their path. The raven talks about the ones that is in between two paths. He doesn't know if he serves the Lord or if he wants the world. And there's a lot of people like that, right? He doesn't have the characteristics of a servant. He wants to go to church, but he also wants to participate in the world. He wants to participate online. He doesn't have a filter. He he watched good things and has good the online has good things. But he will also take the bad things. The world tells us that uh, the Bible tells us that if you take a dough and if you put something dirty or contaminated next to that, it contaminates the whole thing. And we are just like that. If we start taking little things that are out that are contaminated, we will be contaminated with all this these things. And that's what happened with the raven as well. He went in and out, in and out until he went outside and left. And because there's so many things out there and there's so many people that these days they like to follow people that influencers are you know posting and doing they want to do everything that these people are doing and you start to follow those people and you want to follow and then you start to follow them in their path and you go along with them because everything that he had to teach you, he taught you. And the enemy uses these people to deviate them from the presence of the Lord. But we need to learn how to choose. So Noah sends out the dove. 
the dove went, flew, flew around earth, but quickly came back to the ark. Why? Why did she come back? Because the ark was a secure place. She knew what was in there. It was food, it, and she was preserved and safe. So the dove went, saw that things were not good, and came back. The dove talks about the servant that is defined in serving the Lord. To serve the Lord, we need to deny ourselves, our flesh, our desires. The word says that the just man is the one who deviates himself from the evil. He does not sit with the evil. He goes away from the immoral talks and he goes away from the behaviors that does not please the Lord and he doesn't go to places that the Holy Spirit does not go with him because he walks with God. God is with him because he cannot go where the Lord cannot be at. So the word tells us that the men of these last days will be men or would take pleasure in their own things and they wouldn't worry about things that please that didn't please the Lord. So the word and the word tells us for us to go away from these people. And we need to make this choice every day. The dove was sent out the second time and she, she came back, but she was sent out the second time. She comes back with a little piece of a tree, olive tree, a branch of olive tree. So she went and came back with that. And the, the olive tree talks about Jesus. And what the dove was announcing there was that the promise of the Lord was starting to be fulfilled because the ark was in their definite place to live. Because the Lord told Noah that he would prepare a new place for Noah. And no, uh, the dove comes back with a branch from a olive tree saying that the life is arriving and we are announcing to the world that Jesus is coming back, that Jesus has a place prepared for us and we need to position ourselves and we need to make the good choice. We need to choose to serve the Lord. So the dove came back and then Noah sends out the dove the third time and the third time the dove did not come back. He found a new home. The earth was ready. One day, we also will go to the celestial mansions. Jesus wants to prepare a place for us, and we need to be prepared. We need to be separated. Because without sanctification, it's impossible to please the Lord. We won't see the Lord if we don't sanctify ourselves, if we don't separate ourselves. If we are mixed with these things of this world like the ravens eating from the clean things and the dirty things of this world we will not receive this blessing so the lord today gives us the right to make a choice it's our free will you know what free will is is for us to be able to choose the lord puts before us two paths we can't walk in the middle of it there's not a midway there's two ways there is a wider path that brings to brings to the eternal death but a narrow place that brings to eternal life and this path brings us to the Lord and we need to strengthen ourselves to walk in this path and the other path is easy and a lot of people go through them and when the Lord puts this choice before us he gives us a He gives us uh, a warning saying, I put before you blessing and what's not a blessing and it is for you to choose. And if you today feel like you are going farther and far away from the Lord and you feel like it's harder for you to want to come back to the presence of the Lord, if you're serving the Lord, praise the Lord and and ask the Lord because the word says whoever is standing watch for you not to fall and he wants to find us vigilant let's pray and put our lives before the Lord
the Lord we plead to you, so that you may bless each adolescent, each one that heard your word, to glorify your name and to ask your mercy, that you may operate in their hearts, sustain those who are standing, and fortify and bring those who feel far away from you, Lord, that you may renew their faith and their joy in serving you, fill them with your Holy Spirit, renew the faith and the blessing of the Lord, we plead in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.